Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. My name, of course, is Justin Horniger, the host of the Running Through Podcast, and today I'm going to preview the Bowerman Mile, so Prefontaine Classic this weekend from the hallowed grounds of Stanford University. As you know, um, Hayward Field is still under construction, so it's not ready to go yet, so Pre had to pack up and move its way down to Stanford and Palo Alto. It's going to be a different look, but the Bowerman Mile is going to be just as classic as ever. So looking at the field, I I have a hard time picking a winner out. I'm going to do it in this video because we're breaking it down. You know, I have to pick a winner. But I have a hard time because I can just look at these names. So you have, obviously, Matthew Centrowitz is making his debut. You have Yomuth Kajelcha. You have uh, Brahim Kazuzi. You have Elja Moto Menegoy. Um, Nick Willis. And uh, uh, Yenla Suleiman. Ben Blankenship, obviously. <laughs> Timothy Cherry out. There's just a lot of huge names. So some names that might not be in form right now. Um, some names that have had a little bit of a rough start to the season. Some names that might be past their prime. But the bottom mile isn't always a PR fest. So sometimes it's raced like you would raise a championship race. You know, big name race, money on the line, Diamond League Championship up for grabs. So we could go down to anyone. So let's go through the list. So you have uh, Bethwell Bergen, Ben Blankenship, Matthew Centrowitz, Timothy Cherio, Craig Ingalls, John Gregorick, Philip Ingridson, Jakob Ingridson, Yoma Kajelcha, Rahim Gazuzi, uh, Elja Moto Mengoy, Clayton Murphy, Emily Suleiman, um, Samuel Tefura, and Nick Willis. Some of those are big names, and some of those are soon-to-be big names. Obviously, you have Jakob Ingridsen, who's kind of the teenage Norwegian phenom coming over. Um, both Ingrid, two of the Ingridsen brothers are in this. Johnny Gregrick has been having a great start to the season. Um, Craig Ingalls has also been having a pretty good start to the season. Timothy Cherio has already run 332 for 15 this year. Bethwell Bergen has run 333. Uh, Mangway has also run 332. So there's some... Fast times in here already from this year, but I have a hard time thinking that anyone is going to be able to knock off Yomif Kajelcha. So Kajelcha in indoors ended up running 347 for the mile, has run 331 outdoors so far. My heart wants to say that Centro debuts as a Bowerman runner in his Bowerman track club singlet for the first time and is able to do something special. You know, sometimes you can't really predict what Centro's going to do. But Yomuth Kajelcha, I think, is just too good right now to pass up. I don't know. That's how I see it going. I think that Kajelcha will win. Um, I th I could see Centro being in the top three, kind of mixing it up. Um, I don't think that Timothy Cherio. I don't think he's going to win, but I, I can see him challenging for sure. Um, I think the top three, if I'm basing this off of stats and not off my heart, is going to be Timothy Cherio, Yomif Kijalcha, um, and Managoy, just based off the form that they've had so far, what they've been able to do. My big three, winning in first place, Yomif Kijalcha. In second place, I'm going to go with Timothy Cherio. Third place, Elijah Mangoy. But, you know, in a race with Clayton Murphy, in a race with Sammy Tafera, in a race with Jakob Ingridsen and John Gregorick and Craig Engels and Matthew Centrowitz, this could be fun. It's going to be a fun race to watch, so tune in on Sunday and let's watch together. I'll probably preview, I'll probably review the whole meet um, afterwards and we can talk about it. Give me your predictions Who, below. Who do you think is going to win? Um, do you think Kjelcha is just too good? Um, are you Matthew Centrowitz and you believe in yourself? Or do you think it's going to be somebody who I don't? Let me know. Tell me how wrong I am. If you like this video, if you want to see more videos that I put out, give this guy a little thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't already, if you're just stumbling across it. And uh, we'll talk later this weekend.